Hey YouTube, welcome back to El Cisco TV. This is your favorite bearded chef, El Cisco. And on today's episode, as you can see in the title, we're making New York style cheesecake. Our ingredients for this recipe are six large eggs, plus two large yolks, vanilla extract, lemon juice, sour cream, salt, cream cheese, unsalted butter, sugar, and graham crackers. Cut two and a half pounds of cream cheese into one inch chunks and soften on the counter in a bowl. While cream cheese softens on the counter, position your oven rack to the middle of the oven and preheat oven to 325 degrees. Break eight whole graham crackers into rough pieces. A blender could be used, a food processor can be used, or if you have neither, you can put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a ramekin or other hard object. Combine graham crackers, one tablespoon of sugar, and five tablespoons of unsalted melted butter and toss together with a fork. Once fully combined, empty the contents of the bowl into a 9-inch spring pan and use a fork or spoon to press down firmly and evenly into the bottom of the pan. Make sure you keep the sides clean. Bake the crust until fragrant for about 13 minutes. Once crust is baked, allow to cool in pan on a wired rack while the filling is being made. Also, increase the oven temperature to 500 degrees. 
Using a standing mixer with a paddle, beat cream cheese on a medium low setting until broken up and slightly softened. This should take about a minute or so. You also want to make sure you're constantly scraping down the bowl. Add 3 fourths cup of sugar and 1 eighth teaspoon of salt and continue on medium low for another minute. After about a minute, scrape down bowl and add another 3 fourths cup of sugar and combine for another minute. Add 1 third cup of sour cream, 2 teaspoons of lemon juice, and 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. You want to mix this on a low setting for a minute. Add two large egg yolks and mix on medium low speed until combined for another minute. Add the remaining eggs two at a time until thoroughly incorporated. This should take another minute. 
Make sure you continuously are scraping down the sides of the bowl to make sure everything is mixed in together. Using a pastry brush or pastry cloth, brush the inside of the pan with one tablespoon of melted unsalted butter. Pour filling into cooled baking pan, then set pan on a rimmed baking sheet and place into the oven and bake for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes in the oven, without opening the doors, reduce temperature to 200 degrees and continue to bake for an hour and a half. Once cheesecake is baked, allow to cool on a wiring rack for about five minutes, and then take a paring knife around the cheesecake to loosen it from the pan. Allow cheesecake to cool until it's barely warm, about two and a half to three hours. Once it's cool, tightly wrap in plastic and refrigerate for three hours or up to four days.
Wrap hot dish towel around pan and let stand for one minute to unmold cheesecake. Remove side of pan and slide a large spatula between the crust and the pan to loosen the bottom. The cheesecake is still delicate and can easily crack when transferring, so be careful during this process. Once transferred, Allow cheesecake to rest at room temperature for 30 minutes before serving. Once you're ready to serve, cut a slice, give thanks, enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.